What is up guys, my name is Fran and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are gonna be checking out NVIDIA RTX Voice. But before we begin, as I just mentioned a moment ago, my name is Fran and here in the channel, I make videos all about technology. I do reviews, I do opinion pieces, and hey, sometimes I even do giveaways. So if you like what you see, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. All right, so in today's video, we are simply going to be testing out NVIDIA's RTX Voice and seeing if it actually works. Now, if you're not familiar with RTX Voice, it is a software made by NVIDIA that supposedly leverages the RTX cores on your NVIDIA RTX graphics card to provide active noise cancellation during video conferencing or live streaming. So if you're somebody who might work from home and might have a bunch of little ones running around, or you might work from a coffee shop and might have a bunch of background noise going, or if you're doing a live stream and you have a really clicky keyboard or a noisy computer, NVIDIA RTX Voice is supposed to cancel all that background noise and make your audio sound nice and clear. All right, so in order to use NVIDIA RTX Voice, you're gonna need a handful of things. Number one, you're gonna need a computer with a microphone attached to it. Now this can come in the form of a headset or a dedicated microphone. Either way, you're gonna need some sort of sound capturing device attached. And number two is you are going to need an NVIDIA RTX graphics card. So that automatically eliminates Macintosh computers as they currently do not support NVIDIA RTX graphics cards at all. Now the requirement of an NVIDIA RTX graphics card is a little bit of a gray area because of course the internet is undefeated and as soon as NVIDIA announced the software, we saw a number of articles pop up around the internet as to how you can not only install RTX Voice, but leverage it without an RTX graphics card. But there could be some sort of software logic that leverages these RTX cores to ensure it doesn't impact game performance on your system. But either way, just in case it violates NVIDIA's end user license agreement, don't try this at home. Now for this experiment, we'll be using my brand new super powerful editing station that I just built. Now, not that the specifications actually matter, but it does have a Ryzen 9 3950X, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and of course the most important part, the graphics card, which is an MSI RTX 2060 Super. And for the microphone, we'll be using this guy right here, which happens to be a crowd favorite. This is the HyperX Quadcast. Actually, no, we won't be using this microphone because this is the prize for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Keep watching to the end of the video to find out how you can win this. But the actual microphone we'll be using for this experiment is actually the Blue Yeti Nano. All right, so for this first experiment, we're gonna be using this cheapo Amazon keyboard here, which is pretty clicky. I've also got a mouse here, which is also pretty clicky, and I'm gonna go ahead and be using the Blue Yeti. We're gonna switch over to it right now and fake type and click, and let's see if you guys can actually hear anything. So right now I am as if I'm maybe playing an intense game, intense shooter, I'm shooting, I'm moving around, I'm clicking, and uh, yeah, this is it without any type of RTX voice at all. All right, and now we have RTX voice activated and it's on, I'm gonna go ahead and do my clicking, and I'm tapping, and I'm clicking, and I'm tapping, and I'm clicking, and I think, I mean, I've seen some other videos online about this, but you shouldn't hear any of the tapping and the clicking that I'm actually doing on my keyboard, even though it's right here. All right, and for our next experiment, we're basically just gonna try some background noise. So I've got my little JBL charge here, and we're gonna crank some tunes. I'm gonna play something off of soundstripe.com and just see if we can get some background noise that would emulate a television or maybe somebody running around or anything like that. All right, so I'm basically just gonna play a couple of random laugh or child laugh effects, but basically I'm trying to emulate the situation in which I'd be working and maybe there might be some children or somebody running around making noise and this is what you'd probably hear. All right, and now I'm gonna try the exact same weird laughing track, this time with RTX voice on. So once again, I'm playing it just like I was playing it just a moment ago, and I'm just still talking into the microphone. I don't know how visible or audible it's gonna be for you guys, but this is me just trying it out and I'm playing the tracks in the background. All right, and for our final experiment with RTX Voice, we're gonna be leveraging my Atomos Ninja 5 here. Now, the reason why we're using this is because it's a really powerful recorder. It records in 4K, so it has a really powerful vent. I'm just gonna turn it on. This is supposed to emulate the sound of a computer if you had a fan kind of kicking up really loud. So you guys can probably hear it pretty audible right now. I'm not sure how audible it is while I'm actually recording this video, but I can clearly hear this uh, actual fan kicking up. I'll get a little bit closer just in case. And sure, you might not have your computer this close to you when you're actually recording a video or live streaming or anything like that, but it should emulate that sound if it was gonna be any type of disturbance. And yeah, this is with RTX on and I have the fan just as close. I'm gonna get it a little bit closer. 
I'm just looking at the levels over here and I don't see any levels. So it seems like once again, RTX voice is doing a really great job at intelligently not picking up the sound from the fan. It's all right, so I just got back from my computer and I imported all the footage and listened back to the three experiments that I just ran. And I've got to say, RTX voice actually works and it works really well. Now I've seen this in other YouTube videos, but this is the first time I'm actually trying it for myself. And I've got to say, under two out of the three experiments, it worked really well. The keyboard typing one wasn't all that great. And that's mainly because probably it was a little bit too close and maybe the clicks, it was hard to distinguish between human voice and the actual clicks, but the other two experiments where I had the fake child laughter or the, the fake voice and also the fan noise, those two actually worked extremely well. But what if you are looking for the same features and functionality as RTX voice, but you don't have an RTX graphics card or maybe you're running in Mac OS? Well, look no further than the alternative application called Crisp, spelled with a K, and this application pretty much does the same thing as RTX Voice, but of course it does not require RTX graphics and also runs in Mac OS. But how good is this application and is it comparable to RTX Voice? Well, let's find out. Right now, I'm once again uh, tapping on the keyboard. I'll try to bring it a little bit closer how I had it with RTX Voice, but I'm tapping into the keyboard as if I'm doing any type of gaming or anything like that. All right, and now I am once again gonna play a track off of my phone, just like before when I was using RTX Voice. I'm gonna hit play, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and listen to something. And hopefully you guys shouldn't be able to hear the music or hear any of the tracks or anything like that. All right, and finally, I've brought back the Ninja 5, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and see if we can hear the fan noise just like we did or didn't hear it just a moment ago. Can you guys hear it? Can you hear the fan noise? Just bringing it closer to the microphone. Hopefully you can't hear it. Maybe you can, I don't know. This would be very similar to if you had a laptop and you're using a microphone near a laptop. All right guys, so I just finished importing all the footage into my computer and went over all the audio results. And yeah, it's pretty safe to say that RTX voice is considerably more intelligent than Chris. But hey, if you're on one of those platforms like Mac OS or you don't have an RTX graphics card, then at least it is a pretty decent alternative for blocking out some of those background noises. And with that being said, that is going to wrap this video up. Aren't I forgetting something? Oh yeah, the giveaway. So if you guys haven't noticed, I finally recently hit a milestone of 5,000 subscribers here on the channel. And I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to all my subscribers and even the people who just kind of pass through and leave positive comments on the channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys, but I wanted to do something to sort of try to pay something forward. I looked at my top videos and I wanted to give away whatever was in those videos. And unfortunately, I can't afford to give away a MacBook Air, but I can give away one of these awesome HyperX quadcast microphones that maybe you guys can use with RTX Voice. See what I did here in this video, RTX Voice, HyperX Quadcast. But yeah, the rules to the giveaway are fairly simplistic. All you really need to do is be a subscriber to the channel, like this video and leave a comment down below, and then follow me on one of my social media platforms, either Twitter or Instagram, which is where you'll find the actual giveaway link to click on, and that'll guide you through the process. And if it goes really well, who knows, maybe I'll give away another one, or maybe a MacBook Air, I don't know. I shouldn't say that, that'll be really bad. But with that out of the way, that is actually going to wrap this video up. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Also, while you guys are down there, if it's your first time to the channel, consider subscribing. Once again, guys, my name is Fran. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one.